All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Ken. You're welcome. Well, happening today, Oregon will begin issuing pandemic EBT or PEBT food benefits. And they'll be issued to families whose the children did not have access to free or reduced price meals that would normally have been provided at school or child care during this past school year. So joining us live from the Oregon Department of Human Services is Dan Hahn. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Oh, we're doing well. Mm -hmm. uh, glad to have you here. So, so tell us first about, you know, why this pandemic EBT card is, is being issued. Yeah, so at the beginning of the COVID crisis or during the COVID crisis, when kids weren't in school and weren't able to get access to the free and reduced lunch programs they normally have access to, the federal government allows, allowed us to uh, run this pandemic EBT program. So what it does is allows uh, money was spent by families on food during that time. Uh, and this allows us to get money back in the hands of families uh, whose food had costs increased during that time. Okay, so how do families know if they are eligible for this? Yeah, so uh, families who are eligible for this are families that would have been eligible for the free and reduced lunch program at their schools. So they will actually get notices in the mail from South Dakota. So that's an important piece of this is open your mail from South Dakota, please, if you're getting <laughs> from South Dakota. Uh, we don't always open our mail that we don't know where it comes from, so please do that. Uh, you'll get a notice in the mail, and that notice will explain your benefits to you. And you'll also get, uh, if, if you are a current recipient of the SNAP benefits, the benefits will go on your current card. Um, but if you're not, you will get a different card uh, that comes from South Dakota as well that says Oregon PEBT on it. Okay, so then how long will the families be receiving this money? So the money will start rolling out today, actually, and it'll roll out for the next three months. So families will get three um, transfers to their card uh, over the next three months uh, to cover the entire school year uh, based on what their school was doing um, from a hybrid or in-person standpoint. Okay. Now, if uh, we know, you know, situations are different for every family. So if families were able to access meals from their school district, are they still eligible for some of these business uh, benefits? Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of schools went to uh, pickup sites during the school year where you could pick meals up. Um, none of that has an impact on your pandemic EBT benefits. Uh, you're eligible for pandemic EBT benefits simply by being eligible for the free and reduced lunch program. Why, why are these benefits just, you know, so uh, critical to some of these families? I think a lot of people, you know, don't understand, you know, why this is necessary for a lot of these kids. Yeah, I think, um, you know, one thing that I think we often overlook in our society is food security. And uh, during the school year, food security for children and families often comes in the form of those free and reduced lunch programs that they get at school. And so uh, not having access to that really created a hardship for our families, a lot of our families in Oregon who don't have the level of food security they need uh, to, to, to create healthy families. And so uh, the loss of that benefit uh, really put families in jeopardy and cost families money to have to supplement that at home then. And so this is a way to get money back in the hands of families who had those increased costs. Yeah, important help here to get our mm -hmm. communities back on their feet. Well, Dan Hahn from the Oregon Department of Human Services, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. And, of course, we'll post this interview and all the information you need to know on coin.com. Okay, switching gears now to the largest wildfire.